Eric's now going to go in that one knee up, one knee down position that we just worked on. Some people call that a kickstand. Some people call it a knee slide. I think if you're recovering, it's a knee slide. But once you get here for terminology, we'll call it a kickstand. So whistle blows. Eric pushes back. Let's turn that way a little bit so they see what we're looking at. Now here, the top man reacted by chopping the bottom man to the left, and he's just gonna shrug to a high turn, circle, step, finish by going to a double. Very good. Other man. Wait one second, you guys. Stay on. The top man starts on the bottom man's left elbow. So a lot of times when the bottom man pushes to this position, the top man reacts with a quick chop. So he's pushing back, he chops, shrug, circle, and ideally finishing with a double. Sometimes you'll see, sometimes you'll see people come out, chop a little bit, people will come out of this position and go to the waist. If I come to the waist, I'm gonna get rolled a lot of times because he's gonna grab my wrist or my elbow and hook me. So what I'd like to see these guys do, and what they both did very well, is when I get chopped, I shrug, circle, step. Now I'm driving straight to a double. Come on out. One up, one down, I don't care who's who. Both you guys just hit that. Just push back, chop, bang. Very nice. Other man. Chop, come through, very good. And again, just to kind of give you an idea, come here Hayden. If I've got weight on my hands and he's driving and I slide to recover, he typically keeps driving into me and it's easy to build to a stand up. If I push here on a whistle, whoa, if I push here on the whistle and he chops me, that's when I shrug. And if I push here on the whistle and he pauses, that's when I get my angle. So again, weights forward, recover, he pushes, build to your feet. This time you're here and he pauses, get an angle. This time you're here and he chops, shrug. You stay down, um, Eric jump on top. So this time you're gonna jam him forward, slide, come up, Come up, score, cut off. Very good, other man down. This time, let him push to that position. Chop, shrug, double. Very good, Jake, you're down, Eric's on top. This time, progressing it further, he's gonna go to his high turn, his shrug, whatever you like to call it, and Eric's gonna follow and he's gonna go Peterson and finish right there. Very good, let's do that one more time. So again, the top man, wait one second you guys, I'm sorry. The top man's gonna chop, the bottom man's gonna go to a head spin, or excuse me, a shrug, high turn, whatever you like to call it. Bottom man is gonna circle, top man's gonna follow, and he's just gonna hit a Peterson and finish his Peterson. Push, chop, bump, really good stuff. The one thing I'd like to say about the Peterson is this, come here for a second, Eric. If you notice that when he was doing his Peterson, he was turning, he gained momentum, and he bumped. I see sometimes guys will stop here. I see sometimes guys will stop here and they'll try to reach. If he sprawls out here, I'm gonna get really long. So on my Peterson, what I need to do is feel his momentum, chop, circle, bump, capture. Right here, I'm gonna tee off and try to stretch this out. One other thing I see on Peterson's, I see sometimes kids will come here and try to headlock. You're gonna get rolled here. He's gonna take you over. If you want to headlock here, lift up, swim his head, stretch him. So again, if I come here, I'm gonna get dumped. If I come here, I'm not.